How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Sunday. Anybody being said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's having a safe weekend. Hopefully we won't have any disturbing news in reference to this week that's coming up of any lost souls. Anyway, that being said, I want to talk to you about this Lifetime movie. Now, I don't know if you know about this and stuff, but I'm going to give you a rough draft in reference to it really quick because I'm going to talk to you about this. Now, there was a woman by the name of Michelle Lee. She's 45 years old. She's a Sagittarius. Here's your picture right here. Now, she was supposed to be inside of a movie which was called um, Straight Outta Compton. But they didn't put her inside the movie at all. They kind of erased her from the whole history of it, you know, when they, became, when they recreated the movie and stuff. So basically what she did was she did her own Lifetime bio. And the people I'm talking about is, is, you know, production and stuff as far as, um, um, straight out of company and stuff. And the thing about it was that Dr. Dre Okay? That was one of her boyfriends that she was messing around with, you know, within the movie and stuff like that. And I'll give you a little rough idea on him in case you don't know who he is. He's Dr. Dre. He's um six one. He has a lot of kids. <laughs> I'm not sure how many, but allegedly it's like six, but I'm sure it's more. Anyway, he's an Aquarius, and he had his first kid when he was 16 years old. He's now 51 years old. Now, he's also what the, um, the Beats, called Beats by Dre, the earphones. Now, which gives it a whole new meaning of Beats by Dre, you know. And the thing about it was that I kind of heard about it before. Now his um net his net worth is two prices. Now I'm not sure the amount amount you know that it is exactly because I'm sure no one really really knows exactly amount, but estimated to that's how much money allegedly that he has you know his net worth, and he's married to a woman by the name of um. Nicole. Now, there was the other guy she was messing with. His name is Shook Knight. Shook Knight is 50 years old. His net worth is <laughs> more than one. <laughs> His net worth is 200,000. No. His net worth is $200,000, and um, he's 62, he has five kids, you know, and the one sees a young picture of him, very nice looking, right, and an older picture of him. Okay, now he was born in April, and he's actually an Aries and stuff, and you know, he was also affiliated with the death row, the death row records and stuff. You know, with all the different artists and stuff. Now, Michelle Lee um, did a Lifetime bio, Surviving Compton. Now, basically, she wanted to give you an idea exactly what was going on in her life as far as being in the record industry and stuff like that. Now, as far as the storyline, Dr. Dre was the one who, um, basically, she was working and stuff and ended up being her boyfriend and stuff. Now, through the movie... He called her, you know, he courted her and stuff like that. He was interested in her and, you know, and the thing about it was that they ended up being in a relationship. And the thing about it was that, um, I think after a year, she said, and they got really close to her, he started beating on her and stuff. And, you know, he would get really drunk and stuff and he would just come and she'd be sleeping in the bed and he would come inside and he would just start beating her and beating her and she just would take it, you know. And the thing about it is that I understand that and stuff as far as being in a relationship with someone and, you know, 
it's easy to judge and say, well, I would have just left and stuff like that if you're not sucking into his, I guess, his blood of love, honey, because love is a powerful thing. And the thing about it is that there are a lot of people in relationships with people, whether it's, you know, like this and stuff, that they have partners that beat on them and they stay and they don't share the story because nobody what is going to say. Anyway, the man said, so... Dr. Dre basically through the whole movie showed that he beat the hell out of her, basically. Then on top of that, he ended up married another woman. And he had a child with her, um, which was his son. Should Knight was his rivalry and stuff like that, this not record, but ended up being rivalries. They were friends at first, but then being rivalries. Now, Should Knight is in prison as we speak as of now. But he has a way of getting to you from prison. And to think about with her and stuff, he saw the opportunity as far as her being very gullible to a lot of things. And he used it to his um he used it to his offense to get where he wanted to and with her and stuff. And while I was locked up, she was gonna be running everything as far as, you know, the death row records and she didn't have no idea basically how to run it and stuff, but as a, a total of thirty thousand dollars a month was uh salary that he was giving her while she was running this stuff while he was in prison because he didn't trust anybody but her allegedly that's how the story went but anyway so basically um he hit her one time but he said he was only going to hit her once and that was it because he felt like she was too small to him to be beaten on her so he, he wouldn't hit her again but he actually ended up giving her a baby as well when she had a daughter with him now, through the whole bio picture, basically, it's it's like, basically, there's Shane Dre, you know, Beast by Dre, basically, and she lived a very bad life, and she was very much in a gangster life, and, you know, it's one thing of being in a gangster as far as, you know, we look at it and stuff, but it's actually being when the guns are a very important part of your life. You know, and the thing about it was that, um, I would love to hear you feel like this and stuff, you know, the thing about it was that he, he would, this is how abuse do. They beat you up and then they show you these nice things. Basically, Dre had got her a great big mansion house and stuff. Because, you know, once he saw her and stuff and she was singing and stuff. You know, and he basically got her house and stuff like that. Knocked her up and had other women. While, and she knew he had other women. She knew he had other women. She knew he had a lot of babies. She knew he had babies for other people. And I don't know, she just didn't care. I guess I, be, I really believe that it was a luxury of it all. She says that um, she don't know why she left and, you know, leave and stuff. And she knows people are going to say, why didn't you just leave? But I'm not one to judge because I've been in relationships like that and stuff. But um, you have to take something very dramatic for you to actually leave. And um, that's what happened with me, myself. You know, I had something that really dramatic happen and then I left. But with her... Um, the final straw, I believe, was when he put the gun to her face and was going to kill her. Now, Dr. Dre, is, Dr. Dre is denying everything, saying it didn't happen and stuff like that. So, basically, he said it didn't happen. So, basically, she made those story up. So, I don't know. That's not surprisingly as well because I've known guys who beat up, beat you up and stuff and said it never hit you. I've been through that as well. So, I know that's a fact that, that she's telling her story. So, not only though it's her story, but her story is deny, deny, deny. Now he said that he beat other women, he apologized for beating all those other women, but he wouldn't apologize for her. Allegedly, that's what he said. But, you know, I just want to share this with you as far as the spiral pick and stuff. And I want to see how do you feel about this. You know, if you did see it, did you watch it and stuff? It was a lifetime and stuff. And I wanted to make sure I saw this because I want to see exactly what the beats by training me. <laughs> it's not funny, but I just think it's amazing how you could beat somebody. This is what I hate about this world sometimes. You do so many bad things. You beat people up. You dog them. You do all kind of cruel stuff. And you're rewarded. Million dollars. That's a lot of money. Now, she didn't really say, she didn't really do him as she didn't really put, portray him as bad. He's just the kind of person that made it. And they were still seeing each other, even up to now. And even um, Dr. Dre was having a problem with anybody who was around. Even Tupac was in the movie. 
you know, that she talked about how there was friends and stuff, and Tupac told her to keep, you know, believing in her and stuff, and he, if, he, if he could do it, then anybody could do it and stuff, but it was just a horrific type of um, movie, and I'm sure I'll leave it a lot out, so whatever I'm leaving out, I'd love for you to share it with her. Anyway, that being said, they always said if he hit you once, he will, you, he will hit you again and stuff like that, you know. But I would love for you to feel about this. Did you watch the movie? Did you see the movie? Did you see how a person's spirit is? So that's how I learned about um, people that are the, um, the prey. You look for someone who lives their life through loving eyes. When you find somebody with loving eyes, you test them out. What you test them out to do something for it, they just do it with no problem. That is called a prey. Basically, it's easy to take advantage of you. And I'll tell you all the ten if you're not in front of the right person that can really love you, you will be taken advantage of until you wake up from it. You know, but anyway, that being said, I just want to share that short story with you. And I don't know how you feel about it. Anyway, I want to just know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching Get Three.